Hey guys, some of you might remember about two months ago I cleared some land for a fire station project that we're doing the site work on. And the architect had mentioned that they wanted to have the logs from the property milled into lumber that would be used in the new fire station for uh, decorative walls, um, a dining table, and a uh, picnic table outdoors. Of course, I offered up to do that. And what I've got here is what was labeled as a sequoia, but I, I believe it's an incense or a white cedar. Uh, maybe some of you arborists can take a closer look at the bark and tell me what you think, but I don't think it's a sequoia. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's white cedar. But anyways, I'm gonna cut this into one by sixes that'll be used inside on uh, a soffit in the ceiling and a decorative wall. So let's get started. Now, I've never worked with this kind of cedar before. Uh, from what I've read, they use it to make pencils. And I'm really smelling that right now uh, when I cut that end off. It, it really smells like a, like a classroom number two pencil. But anyways, I'm gonna measure this out and see what, uh, what the best yield I'm gonna get. 16 by about fifth, well, if you measure the bark, it's 16 by 16. So I'm probably going to cut some one inch thick chunks out of it till I can get to 12 inch wide cant. And then I'll cut that cant in half and then I'll saw one by sixes out of it. Kind of windy out I'm hoping you can hear me all right but I've got two cants that are 12 inches wide and 10 and a half inches tall with the curve of the blade that should give me 10 one by sixes out of each one of those um, cants so I'm gonna flip them up on end and start making one by sixes I know I've mentioned this in the past, but it's worth bringing up again. When you're making repetitive cuts like this and you're gonna need to shut your saw down, in my case, it was to haul the flitches uh, away so that I had room on my forks for the lumber. Always hit your next cut on your simple set. Bring the blade down so that when you start your saw, you're already lined up for your next cut. And all you have to do is turn your simple set. Up. You don't have to, you don't have to re tap your blade on the surface of your work. You can just start the saw, turn on your simple set. You're already lined up for your next cut. It saves a bunch of time and it's way more accurate than, uh, than trying to reset up altogether.
stuff is going to be used as wall and ceiling paneling in the new fire station and I do not think they're going to be disappointed. This stuff is really looking awesome. Well here we have it, about 20 one by 6s and I've probably got enough in the flitches to make another four boards, so probably 24 boards. I think I need 96 altogether, but they haven't actually uh, agreed to my price yet, which was really low. Uh, they're getting a heck of a deal. It's also worth noting that the blade on my sawmill right now is the same blade I used to cut that walnut the other day and the madrone. So I cut two fairly hardwood logs with that blade and cutting through this cedar, it still looks like brand new. Um, I'm really impressed with the how well that blade cut. Now I know I've mentioned this in the past, but it's worth mentioning again. When you're making repetitive cuts like this and you're gonna to need to set the shaw, set the shaw down. Uh, okay, 